you got here? This is a Kitty Mitchell. Oh, we have a special story behind the Kitty, Kitty Mitchell. Mitchell. It's supposedly, Kitty Mitchell is actually a strawberry grouper. Fishermen have their way of naming fish, right? So it looks like a strawberry. However, the, the lore is that there was a woman named Kitty Mitchell up in Louisiana who had a brothel. And the fishermen, when they would come in, they'd stay at the, uh, the brothel. And she actually wore a uh, skirt that resembled the skin on the fish. So consequently, they named the fish Kitty, Kitty Mitchell. Awesome. Kitty, Kitty Mitchell is a cross between, if you, you know, in flavor and texture, it's a cross between a red grouper and a, uh, probably a, a black grouper. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop the head off because, it's, in my opinion, if you take the head off first, you've got um, a better yield on the fish as you're cutting it down the back. But, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting behind the gill plate. Both sides. There's this little. Uh, that this, it's almost like it's got a hinge on it, so you want to put your knife up underneath the hinge and just give it a good cut like that. And then there's another hinge that goes the other way on the fish. You see that? And come up underneath the uh, the fin there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then we'll do is just put a slice on the head. Right here. And I'm just snap the head off. Save that for later. You've got to keep in mind speed is not important. What's important is you know taking your time and getting it so that you're basically you're filleting against the bone. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my pressure against the bone. I'm coming down through here. What I did is I just cracked the hardest part is cracking through this this bone right here. So you want to give it a little pressure when you're coming in that direction. Start cutting from the bottom thin. Nice little slice there. Cross the tail, another slice. And work your way up the back. It's Basically, just give it a score through the skin. I often thought that the Kitty Mitchell, if you feel it, it feels like a cat's tongue, too. So I'm not sure about that story, but if you feel it, it feels just like a cat's tongue. <laughs> What you want to do is you just kind of let your, your knife press against the, uh, the bone as you're going along. It's a nice fish. It's got no worms in it. Sometimes, you know, depending on where the fish live, what they're feeding on, they can, they can have some worms in them. But this is a beautiful fish. Stare at the back one. I'm just going to finish it off with the crack here. Alright. There you have it. There it is. That's what you want to see. Backyard defense create a lot of fly noise. Flies will be attracted to whatever you're doing. But I'll do is take some bleach and put it in a trash can and it'll get rid of your fly problem. I'll just go ahead and skin the whole thing. I'm going to skin it with the belly on. Sometimes I'll take that belly strip off, but I think I can do it with the whole belly piece on. So I'll take the knife and hold the tail just like that. This is a, um, what you call that knife, but I call it a skinning knife. Some people use it to cut bread. You can find these in the uh, Ideal Fisherman Supply. They'll sell those. You can find them online. It's a skinning knife. So basically what you want to do is push your, your blade at a di diagonal angle towards your cutting table and then pull the skin. So you're not really, I mean, it's, it's almost a, a, a dual force of 
holding your knife against the table and then pulling the skin at the same time. I got the skin off. I'm going to take this belly meat and we're going to save this for making soups later on. You've got what you've got now is a nice fillet with a pin bone section. And you'll feel right here the pin bone right through here. So you want to cut that out. Just kind of cut it at an angle this way, and like that. That goes for the grabs. What I do is cut these into probably a more manageable piece, serving size, so a serving or two. Let's see, you can store it. Here we got the Katie Mitchell head, nice fish. Remember in um, one of the, the uh, articles that I wrote about selecting, I should have shown you this before I cut the fish up, but it doesn't matter. See how nice and red those gills are and the eyes are clear? That's what you want to look for when you're buying a whole fish. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take the throats and the uh, cheeks out of this fish. So. You've got a little hard bone that goes across here, so what you want to do is just basically run your knife against <clears throat> that plate best that you can. And just drive it down towards the eyeball. Give it a, just a little bit of a cut towards the skin. And then what I'm going to do is just use my thumb and tear that piece right off here. And that's, your, that's a group of cheek. Same thing with the other way. Now I'll come in this side because it's just easier on my right handed to come in that way on that side. Same thing. Pull it down closer to me and then tear it off just like that. I'm going to pull the throat out of this fish as well. So you throw it. Remember when I started filleting that fish, I told you about the joints? Well, we've got that little joint that comes down in here. So what I'm going to do is it's almost mechanical the way these fish are, you know, designed. So I'm going to take this and just cut it back through here underneath the head. One slice there, turn around, do the same thing on this side. Right behind the gill. And you almost have like a perfect little piece that's, that pops out. And give it a good twist. Two. And you have to just cut it off. And that's your gripper throat right there. Lots of nice meat in there. You can fry it, bake it. I, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put it in a, um, a boil for a little bit and then let all the meat fall out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to save that along with the belly and we're going to make a soup. And this goes to the crabs and that's the mozzarella.